Perry of the circus. For Jerry of the circus. Well, all through now, Mr. Stanton? Yes, sir. I think we covered everything pretty thoroughly. That's good. Well, that's all then, huh? Yes, I think that takes care of your share. The rest will be up to the court that retries the case. Well, then, if that's all, we'd better be getting back to the lot. That's all, and thank you again for your cooperation. Well, not at all. All right. Come on, Tom. You ready, Jerry? Mr. Randall. Uh, yes, Tom? Well, I'd like to ask something. Well, go right ahead. Uh, Mr. Stanton? Yes, do you think it would be all right? Well, I mean, could I see Mr. Platt before I leave? Well, now, I don't know. Just what do you want to see him for? I want to ask him some questions. Well, what about, son? Well, about my dad. Well, I think he knows something about dad, and, well, I'd like to find out. I'm not so sure you'll get a reply. He's been acting very nasty, but you can try. Sergeant. Yes? Take this boy back to that fellow Platt in cell 15. Yes, sir. Come on, son. Just go with the sergeant through that door, son. Thank you. We'll wait here for you, Tom. Okay, Jerry. I won't be long, Mr. Randall. Take your time, Tom. Right through this door, son. This is sure a big jail, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Why do you lock that door behind us? Got to, son. Unless that door is locked in back of us, I can't open this next one here. Oh. Well, here we are. Platt's in the third cell on the right. You can talk to him through the bars. I'll wait here for you. Thanks. You can uh, just have a couple of minutes with him. I won't be long. Miss, Mr. Platt? What do you want? It, it's Tom, Mr. Platt. Well, you heard me. What do you want? Please, Mr. Platt, won't you tell me where my father is? I don't know. But you've had letters from him. Go on, beat it. Well, I I'm going to Fort him, Mr. Platt. Do you think my father is there? Maybe. Well, is he? He might be. But where will I find him there? Well, that's not such a big place. Look for him. I I'm sorry, Mr. Platt. I, well, I mean that... Shut up. Go on now and beat it. Come on, lad. No use talking to him. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Platt. Beat it. Not much use trying to get anything out of that man. He's got a 20-year sentence ahead of him. He's not in such a good humor. Well, it wouldn't hurt him to talk to me a little. Ah, they all act like that, my boy. This is the first time I've ever been in a jail. Let's hope it's the last time for you. Yeah. Jail's a good place to stay out of. Uh, too bad Platt was so mean. Did you see him, Tom? Uh-huh. Did you get any questions answered? Yeah, but he was awful mean. Well, I expected as much. You ready now? Yes. Thank you, sir. It's all right, son. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Randall. Goodbye, Mr. Stanton. Goodbye, Jason. Bye. Good luck, boys. Well, come on, boys. Should we walk back to the grounds? Well, I haven't got much time. We'll have to hurry, because... 
I got to get a lot of vegetables ready for salads. <laughs> I think we better take a cab. Then. Oh, there's one, Mr. Randall. Uh, Let me call him. Oh, that go ahead, Jerry. Taxi. Oh, taxi. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, to the circus grounds. Yes, sir. to ride in cabs, Tom? Well, this is the very first time in my life I ever rode one. Oh, no fooling. Honest. Well, how do you like it? Sure is keen, huh? Uh, what did you ask Platt, Tom? Well, I wanted to know where my father was. Now, wouldn't he tell you? No, sir. That is, not exactly. What do you mean? Well, I asked him if Dad was in Fordham, and he said maybe. Well, I guess you'll find him there all right. Well, let's hope so anyway. I asked Mr. Platt where Dad was in Fordham, and he said to look for him. Well, I... I think from that remark, you can be sure your father is there. Sure, you'll find him. Don't worry, Tom. He didn't want to talk, did he? I mean, Mr. Platt. No, he acted awful mean. I guess he's singing the years ahead of him in the penitentiary. Not a very happy outlook for him. Well, he's got it coming to him. Yeah, you bet he has. Do you think Spike will join up with the circus again when he gets out of jail? Well, he might. He told you he would, didn't he? Uh Uh-huh. He told me that he thought circus folks were the grandest people in the world. I think so, too. Well, that's not far wrong. They're a pretty regular lot. Hey, look at they are the grounds already. So soon? Uh-huh. Uh, say, uh, driver. Yes, sir? You better turn right at the next corner and uh, go around to the back of the lot. Yes, sir. Why did you tell him to do that, Mr. Randall? Well, Tom here is to get to work, and that'll let us out just about the mess tent. That's right. Thanks, Mr. Randall. I don't want Leo to get mad at me. Oh, he wouldn't say anything if you were a few minutes late, Tom. <laughs> you don't want to take any chances, though, do you, Tom? No, sir. Okay, boys, here we are. Hop out. I sure got a kick out of that ride. Yeah, here you are, driver. Thank you. Gee, here we are, right in front of the mess tent. Come on, Tom, let's get to work. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, you boys go ahead. Uh, I want to talk to uh, Jason here. See you later. All right, Mr. Randall. Uh, and if you see Bumps, uh, would you mind telling him I'm in the mess tent with Tom? All right, Jerry. See you later, boys. Okay, Bye, Jason. Goodbye, Jason. I guess I'd better get to work on cleaning those things for the salad or I'll be late. I'll help you. Where are they? Right in here. See over there in the corner? Oh, you mean that big pile of carrots and celery? Uh Uh-huh. Better take your coat off. Oh, don't worry. I will. Roll up my sleeves, too. Here's a knife. Okay. Now, where do I put this stuff when I clean it? In that big kettle there on the ground. Hey, let's race and we'll get through faster. Hey, that's a good idea. Ready? Uh Uh-huh. One, two, three, go. so fast. You'll cut yourself. I'm watching. Don't you worry. Say, how do you like this kind of work, Jerry? Oh, it's all right, but I'd sooner water the horses and help Whitey in the horse top. Can I go along with you and help sometime? Sure, if you get time, but you're always working the same time I am. Yeah, I guess that's right. Oh, don't worry, though. You'll see everything there is to see around the circus before we get to Fordham. I sure hope I find Dad there. Oh, you will. But what if he isn't there, Tom? What do I do then? Well, now listen. Don't even think about it until we get to Fordham. Your dad will be there and we'll find him. But maybe he moved or something. Ah, oh, quit thinking about it. If he moved, we'll find out where he's going to, and then you can go wherever that is. Don't worry about it. You'll find him. And you'll help me, huh? Of course I will. Thanks, Jerry. Hey, fellas. You in there? Oh, hi, Jason. Yeah, come on in. Well, <laughs> You two look like a couple of professional cooks. Oh, how come you came back here so soon? Dinner won't be ready for a long time yet. Boys, I've got something to tell you. Yeah? What is it? Well, it seems like there's been something going on that we're not in on. Oh, what? Now, you won't breathe a word of this to anybody. <laughs> no, sirree. Of course not. You promise? Sure we do. Don't we, Tom? I promise. Go ahead and tell us, Jason. Well, it's about the Major. Well, Major might again. Well, what is it this time? Who's the Major, Jerry? Oh, he's the midget. I'll tell you all about him later. Go ahead, Jason. What about the Major? (laughs) This is sure good. (laughs) Hurry up and tell us so we can laugh, too. (laughs) The Major has a crush on Carmen Bendini. You mean he likes her? He likes her is putting it mild, Jerry. (laughs) He's really taking a shine to her. And here's the funny part. He's been sending her flowers every day for the past week. (laughs) Sending a lot of money on him, too. And writes some little note to go along with him. (laughs) No fooling? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. 
But what's funnier still is the fact that Carmen doesn't like it a bit. It's beginning to annoy her. I thought girls like to get flowers. Well, Carmen doesn't seem to like the idea so much, Tom. <laughs> That's pretty good, all right. <laughs> now, listen, I've got an idea. We can have a little fun if we just keep it to ourselves. Okay. You see all these vegetables here? Yeah, mm -hmm. what about them? Let's make a big bouquet out of them. And send them to Carmen? Exactly. And with a little note. Or better still, I've got it, Tom. You can take the bouquet of vegetables into Carmen at dinner tonight and say nothing. She'll naturally think the Major sent them. Good idea, Jason. We can make a big bouquet of, of carrots and celery and beet tops and all sorts of things. Oh, not forgetting, of course, <laughs> plenty of onions. <laughs> I'll pick out some nice things from this box here. Good. And I'll get some of that green wax paper and a nice big box from the florist uptown. We'll fix it all up so it'll look real. Hey, Jason, uh, how, how did you get all that oil on your sleeve? Where? Oh, gee, that's not so good. I guess I leaned up against something over by the generator. They're fixing it. What's the matter with it? The men don't seem to know, but it's been acting kind of funny lately. They're trying to make it hold out until some new parts arrive. Well, that's not so good having the generator break down, is it? Well, I should hope not. If that generator goes bad during the night show, it would throw the whole circus into darkness. Gee, that'd be awful. Especially while your act is on, huh, Jason? Well, it wouldn't be so good. Being in that steel cage with all my cats and not being able to see where each one is. Would they jump on you? No telling what they'd do, Tom. A jungle animal gets scared when they're... Not in familiar places. Well, they'd be in a familiar place in the steel. Yeah, well, that's true, Jerry. But being in the dark would be something new to them. And they might get so panic-stricken, I'd have a hard time keeping them in order. Well, let's hope the men get that generator fixed then, so the lights don't go out. Why, it'll be awful if the big top went dark when Patsy or the Bendinis were working, too. I, I never realized how important lights were to the circus. Here's a nice bunch of carrots with pretty tops on them. <laughs> Good boy, Tom. Yeah, let's get busy with these... Vegetable bouquets. Okay, uh, how about these onions? Swell, Jerry. This is going to be fun. I just wonder how Carmen will take it. Maybe she'll get mad. Oh, I don't think so. But she'll most likely try to make the Major think she's mad. You don't think Tom will get in trouble taking the box into Carmen at dinner, do you, Jason? No, of course not. But we've got to remember this. Neither one of us is to tell on the other, no matter what happens. Is that a bargain? <laughs> the secret three, huh? Yeah, that's it exactly. Now you boys go ahead with the bouquet. Make it a big one. Use every kind of vegetable you can think of. I'll be back in time to put the finishing touches on it and pack it nicely in a box. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. Hurry up, Jason. Yeah, I will. I'll be back in a few minutes. Now, not a word to anybody. All, All right. right. Sure. He sure is a lot of fun, isn't he? <laughs> sure is. But the fun will start when Carmen gets a big bunch of vegetables at dinner in front of the whole troop. I wonder what you'll say. I wonder what the Major will say when she accuses him of sending them to her. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>